prayers, keeping you informed of what's happening around Salem United Methodist Church. And with me again, I'm getting used to this. Well, hello, Marie Sanders. It's so good to be here again. <laughs> it's good to have you here, Pastor. <laughs> With another week of Salem TV news break because Salem TV cares. That's right. Salem TV cares. And uh, we were just sitting here talking before we started taping that someone came in to give their weekly offering and That's tithes right. and just express how much they are enjoying the Sunday services. Absolutely. And I know you as the pastor made that just warmed your heart and it made you feel so good to hear that because that's what we're trying to do is making sure that people are being encouraged uh, during this time and they're not missing church. That's right. And it's so important for us to continue to try to be a presence in the lives of the members of Salem United Methodist Church. And um, so it's extremely important for me to hear back from you and to know that you're receiving what we are doing well and I am grateful to all of you for responding in the way that you did. First of all, thank every last one of you for coming to the church during the uh, regular office hours. That's Tuesday through Thursday from 10 to 2 to bring your regular offerings and your tithe payments into uh, the worship. It has uh, been working a lot better than we honestly expected that it would. Uh, we've instituted a lot of different ways for you to um, continue to be faithful stewards, including Cash App, and the hashtag for Cash App is, of course, Salem TV Cares. And uh, you can either uh, bring it into the church or um, mail it to uh, 402 West John Avenue in Orange, Texas, 77630. And we've asked you to do that. You've responded like champions. I want to thank you yes. as the pastor of this church for doing such a great job. That is just absolutely wonderful that it is working out. Um, now, tell me, Pastor, what are some other ways that they can help uh, even with the services and uh, Salem TV Cares or even our worship services, our absolutely. video ministry? Yeah. Well, I know that you all still um, want to volunteer, that yes. you want to help and be a, a part of the solution here. And we've been looking for very new and creative ways to be a part of the solution, to continue to be a church, and to do the things that churches do. Right. And uh, one of the things that you can definitely do is to continue to watch the Salem TV News Break and the worship services. But watch this program especially because we're working hard to create a sense of normalcy, to give you information and uh, things that will help you make it through this quarantine period. And the extended version of the news break is our chosen vehicle for getting that done. So please, when you watch the Salem TV news break, please also subscribe to um, the Salem TV news, um, the Salem TV YouTube channel. Yes. There's a little rectangle that says subscribe. And when you do that, you'll get automatic um, updates to the news break and the worship services when they air. Another thing that you can do is like it. There's a little heart button that you can like. And when you like things on your social media, yes. on YouTube, it also notifies everyone what you're watching and, 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 and it cues them to watch it also. And the, the reason that we have been so successful with so many views for worship service is that I know some of you out there just liking those, um, those worship services as soon as they come up. And when you like them, it extends it to the entire social network. And the last thing to do is to share. Yes, right? Everybody please. loves to share. And we're a church. Sharing is a great word for social media. I'm glad that they use that word. But when you share uh, the Salem TV news break, what you do is you post it on your Facebook page. Right. And other people um, can see... Um, what's going on with the Salem TV news break who aren't even members of our social network or our church. And so when you watch, like, and subscribe to our broadcast here, what you're doing is you're extending the social network uh, even further than it is when you just tune in and enjoy it for yourself. So that's one way that people can continue to support what we're right. doing here. Now, there's another way, Marie. What's the other way? We need a lot of material. You do. Yeah, it takes a <laughs> lot of equipment. It really does. It takes a lot of equipment to get this done. 
And uh, we have a lot of equipment. Thank God we have a lot of equipment to get this done. And we're able to um, bring this quality of production to you on a weekly basis. And we could do more with more equipment. Right. The place to find the equipment that you can donate to the Salem TV News Break and to our uh, video streaming ministry is through Amazon. There's an Amazon wish list that you can access. We'll put the uh, contact up on the screen. And if you go there, you'll be able to select from uh, a number of different items that we need to uh, continue the quality of broadcast that we have. Um, our system allows for us to use um, cell phones instead of camcorders for recording devices. So what you see right now is being recorded on a very economical, um, high-end communication device that everyone has, and it's called a regular cell phone. Uh, if we get more of those, we can do more work. And you'll see the whole list of lighting and um, uh, tripods and just different little things that technical um, doodads, I call them, that will help us to uh, better bring um, this service and uh, this ministry to you and other services um, that we have um, in store for you. That's great. I, I can't wait to see, you know, what all we get because, like you said, it does take a lot of equipment and it's always room for improvement and uh, we always could use more. So we're That's thanking right. you in advance to those of you who will take a look at that wish list and will uh, send us some things to the church. And it's for the church, for the upbuilding of the kingdom and the ministry of Salem United Methodist Church which not only reaches Salem, but others all over the world. All over the world. That's a, a key uh, part because our ministry um, is uh, very clearly dictated to us or, or commanded to us through the scripture, and that is to take the gospel to the ends of the That's earth. It. But as a local church, we feel limited sometimes. Right, right. Uh, as United Methodists, we're connected with the United Methodist um, um, a network around right. the world, and we can see our apportionment, helping uh, with things like Africa University and different ministries around the world during disasters. But here we are at Salem United Methodist Church in Orange, Texas. And from our location, we are touching people all over the world and helping them through things like the Salem TV News Break. Yes. And you can help with that. Yes, you can. Remember to like the videos.
give me something on oh. Baby, come give me something on oh. Cause I can't stop loving yeah. Since I got a taste of your love Baby, come give me something on oh. for the remainder of this year. And some of you may have had seniors, as this is a very disappointing time, but we wanna do something to help. If you have a senior, please submit their photos. It could be in their cap and gown, or maybe in their favorite outfit, and also seniors. Girls, you may have already had your prom dresses. Let us see those pretty dresses. Why not dress up and take a picture and submit it to SalemTVCares at gmail.com. Now we don't wanna leave the guys out. Maybe you already have that suit. Put on your dapper attire and send us a picture. We salute you and we are proud of you. We are continuing to see a rise in our Sunday morning service viewers. The viewers for this past Sunday was a total of 90. Thank you so much for tuning in. Our offering for last week was $3,119. We thank you so much for your liberal giving and your consistent tithes and offerings. Don't forget, there are three ways. You can do it from Cash App at dollar sign Salem TV Cares. You can mail it into the church. And remember, the hours to stop by to turn in your gift in person is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Thank you so much. Sunday school. So we're here to bring it to you. Here with my sister, <laughs> we are going to give you <laughs> the Sunday school lesson. That was wrong. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. 
Bella, do you want to start by reading our story? Of course. Okay. Um, okay, so it's called He's Given Me a New Name. Uh, every Saturday, Darius volunteered at the local soup kitchen. He loved to tell people about Jesus. The next day, after Sunday school, he would sing in the church choir and serve church the lunch. But while he excelled at volunteering, he struggled in his classes. During the week, he just couldn't get his schoolwork together. Only his parents knew about his academic struggle. One day, Darius' mom struck up a conversation with Emerald, one of the volunteers with whom Darius served on Saturdays and Sundays. A retired school teacher, Emerald had been looking for a student to tutor in her spare time. After her conversation with Darius's mom, she reached out and offered him some help. At first, Darius was hesitant, but quickly realized that it was a blessing from God. Every day after their volunteer work, Emerald helped Darius with his homework, and his grades quickly improved. That's great. Yes. I like that story. Me too. Um, a lot of times whenever I need help with school, I hate asking for it because mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just kind of embarrassing. Like you never want to raise your hand and be like, hey, can I get some help on this? Because I don't know. It's just always so like... I'm kind of the opposite. I know I'm not good, so I try to... Whenever I can, I like to sit next to a really smart kid so like they won't be messing around and I can learn better. And whenever it's time to do homework in class, I do it with them. So even if mm -hmm. I don't understand it, I'll still get the question right because they help me. That makes sense. Okay, moving forward to our scripture. Isaiah chapter 61 verses 8 through 11 and 62 verse 2 through um, 4. And I be. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. And my faithfulness, I will reward my people and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are a people the Lord has blessed. I. Wait. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in God and my God, for he has clothed me with gar with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness as a bridge groom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with with jewels. For as the soil makes the sprout come up in the and a garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before the nations. The nations will see your vindication and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be you will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem on the hand of your God. No longer will they call you deserted or name your land desolate. All right, that was nice. Uh -huh. This is the scripture discussion. It says, in our passage today, we see that God always help, keeps his promise. He uses the prophet Isaiah to share with Jerusalem that God will keep the promise of restoring the land of those who worship him and keep his commandments. As a result of maintaining their place before God, Jerusalem will remain separate from the other nations and will be known throughout the land as the blessed children of God. God will continue to work on Jerusalem's behalf until the nations deserve her righteousness salvation and glory the people of israel as a result of their faithfulness to god will never be called anything other than bl the blessed children of god moreover they won't give up hope israel's glorification is tied to its continued obedience to god our god loves justice especially for those who have become marched marginalized in society. While small and meaningless other to other nations, Israel will be um, 
mechanism through the through which God will would bring forth the gospel. That was really interesting. So Bijou, what do you think God loves and hates? God loves justice and he hates wrongdoing and robbery. Yeah. So Bella, to what does Isaiah compare the people of God? Uh, Isaiah compares the people of God as a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and a bride adorns herself with her jewels. So like a big bridal party. Basically, yeah. That was great. Thank you for staying with us for Sunday School. The Salem TV News Break will be right back. Well, last week was Challenge Week. And one of my favorites, and I'm sure it's one of your favorites, Miss Bijou Bright, yes. is the food challenge. Love that. <laughs> I, absolutely, I absolutely love the food challenge because why we love food. Food is so amazing. Isn't it so though? Great. It's just wonderful. I thank God for food. So um, one of the challenges, like I said, was the food challenge. And so you and your sister and your dad... Last week we did the banana bread. It really turned out good. Uh-huh. That was good. That was delicious. I'd like some more of that. Come on, ladies and gents of Salem. <laughs> make us some banana bread. Take this challenge. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Bring love it by. It. So this week is the breakfast sandwich. This it's is absolutely nice. beautiful. Isn't it? It looks really nice. If you ask me. Yes, it really is. So you all did this on last night or this morning, rather. Yes. And uh, we're going to take a look at how this process went. So we're gonna try to make this crazy breakfast sandwich we saw on TikTok the other day. Scramble three eggs, dump the eggs into the pan, dip it, and then flip it to the side. Do the same for the second one. Cook it on medium heat until the top hardens up. And then you flip it over. Hey! Then you add cheese, add some bacon on there. Load it up. Flip the sides over, just like that and then make it into a sandwich. Success. Ta-da. All right, that was wonderful. Uh -huh. So just again, go over the ingredients that you all used. Okay, so it's basically just like your typical uh, like egg, mm -hmm. um, cheese, bacon sandwich, but you like turn it over. I don't a know turnover, yeah, turnover sandwich. Like a turnover. That's a good way to say yeah. it. Like a like a breakfast sandwich turnover. Turnover. Okay. That's I think, really Miss Marie, I'm gonna have to try this. I don't know about a TikTok, but I'll try it. And look how nicely it's placed. And mm -hmm. Pastor cut up some strawberries with some whipped cream. With some whipped cream. Delicious. This is just. Are you as excited as I am? I'm so excited. So wait. Let's not let the people wait any longer. Yes. Let's dig in. Let's let's dive in. <laughs> oh look at the cheese look at the cheese you all mm -hmm. do you see this cheese mm -hmm. look at this cheese mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is good okay you all y'all are missing out <laughs> you really are. so make this challenge all the challenges that you see on here the breakfast sandwich mm -hmm. flip over the banana bread Thank you for choosing Salem. <laughs> this has got me just speechless. It's got me speechless. I can't even do my lines like I want to. I can't. 